Hi everyone, it's Shredage again, and you may have seen my previous video in which we took some text and replaced certain uh, letters with numbers to uh, to convert text to a specially encoded text, but uh, that is still readable. So I got an interesting comment from Jinxware. So what he suggested is, I instead of just replacing letters with numbers, I rearranged the letters in the uh, in the words. So that means I'm basically jumbling up the uh, words. So he gave us an example, according to research at Cambridge University, and you'll notice that all the letters in between the first and last are all jumbled up. The first and last letters are still the same. So. I'm going to split this project up into two parts. So the first part, which is this video, is going to be taking a word and jumbling it up. And the uh, second part is that I'm going to uh, take. Uh, I'm going to use the method we made in this video to uh, to jumble up a whole piece of text. So I have a Scala worksheet right here. So I'm going to start by creating a method def scramble word, which is going to take our word of type string, returning a string, and it's going to equal to. So what we're going to do first is uh, we just saw that how only the letters in the middle, which is not the first, not the last, but everything in between, is are jumbled, but uh, is going to be jumbled. So first we're going to start by getting the middle letters. So I'm going to call that val middle equals to, and we're going to use a method on strings called substring. So word dot substring, which gives you all of the uh, all of the letters in cl uh, that are from the be uh, begin index to end index in your string, and it includes uh, includes the letter at the begin index, but not the one at the end index. So our begin index is one, and our end index is going to be word dot length minus one. So now, if we just return middle. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, since this is a worksheet, I'm going to do scramble word hello. So now we're going to get L. So that works. And now what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to use full left. So for each uh, value uh, betwe uh, between zero, so let me just start writing this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do zero until word no middle dot length so what I'm gonna do it is so now we get our indexes and we're gonna do dot full left so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on scrambling uh, the letters in the word over and over again to get a well scrambled word and uh, the number of times we scramble is going to be proportionate to the length of our word. So we're going to do full left. And we know from my previous videos that the first thing full left takes is the starting value, which is going to be middle, so the unscrambled word. And then what the second thing is, is going to be, so you're going to have case, ack, which is the accumulated value, and cur, which is the current value. So what we're going to do from this is, we're going to replace some values. Uh, we're going to replace uh, the value at cur with the value at a random index. So to get that random index, I'm going to do val pose, which is position of the uh, of the character. We're going to uh, swap with the character at cur. Position equals to math dot random times middle dot length 
and we're going to do this dot to int because random gives you a double but we want an integer since indexes are always integers and what we're going to do is now we need to just uh, replace the uh, the value at pose with the value at cur and vice versa so we're going to do ac which is the current uh, accumulated value dot updated so our index is going to be first at cur and then we're going to replace that with uh, a accumulated value at position pose which is the random position we got and now we're going to do the opposite of this dot updated because we're swapping the two values so we're going to update update it at pose with ac of cur so that's it and now what we need uh, so we're going to call this val middle scrambled so originally to swap the values I had a array and then I was getting two random values and swapping the values at both of them but the code was really messy and we were had a mutable state so I I was looking or uh, I looked around at what type of things I could do for this and I found out about the method updated and the method we're going to use next, patch. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do middle dot patch. So what patch takes is it takes from. So what's our, st uh, what's our starting index that we want to patch? One. And then you give it a sequence of the elements you want to patch into uh, the original uh, the original value which is middle so we're going to replace the values f uh, uh, starting from one and we're going to replace them using patch which is our middle scramble and then replace is how many elements you want to replace from the patch so that's going to be middle scramble dot length because you want to replace all of them so now if we save, we get H, uh, we get, n now we get Ellie. Reason is, we actually need to do word.patch. I just made a mistake there. So now we get, hello, scrambled. But let's try all the cases now. What if it's empty? Ooh, we got an error. So reason is that you can't, uh, it's get, we're getting an index out of bounds exception. So we need to add a case in which we don't need a scramble. So we're going to have an if else. So we're going to have if, so that, uh, if word.length is less than or equal to three. So why, uh, so the reason why it's less than or equal to three is if we have no elements, we don't want to scramble. If we have one element, we uh, don't need to scramble. It'll always be the same. If we have two elements, there's nothing in between, so nothing to scramble again. Three elements, there's only one element in between, so that will just stay the same. Uh, but with four, you can scramble it. So not four, but three. So if the word dot length is less than or equal to three. We're just going to return word. Else, we're going to return this crazy thing. Let me format this. And now we uh, uh, the error goes away. So now let's try all the cases. I'm going to try I. We get I. Hi. His. Our. And this does get scrambled. And now we can try thousand. And we get thousand scrambled. The first and last are the same. And that's going to be our scramble word method. So I'll see you in part two of this video in which we're going to use this method to scramble all the words in a piece of text. 
I'll see you there. Bye.